Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lessons, we're going to look at the classic Bob Marley song, Jammin. Jammin has basically four different chords to it, and the one I have arranged is in G minor, and that means that the chord, the main chord, is going to be G, B flat, D. There, there are four chords, G, B flat, D, followed by C, E, G, followed by uh, E flat, G, B flat, and then followed by D, F, A. So we really have those four chords over and over and over. And so if you want to, in, in my arrangement, the first uh, seven measures are just uh, not melody. So you can just comp along and play chords if you want. Or I'll show you a couple tricks you could do. But if you want a solo on this, uh, the G blues works really great. G, B flat, C, C sharp, D, F, G works great. But you can't use it all the time. So you've got to know when to release that that blue scale. So we'll talk a little bit about that, but the blue scale again is G, B flat, C, C sharp, D, F, and then G again. But the main chords are the G, B flat, D, followed by C, E, G, and actually it has a, a B flat on it also, the B flat chord being, or the C, E, G, B flat is the, is the C7 chord, we'll talk about that, followed by the E flat, G, B flat, followed by the B, uh, sorry, D, F, A, which also has a C on it, if you like. And some of those seventh notes that I, I talk about are there for color, but they're also, uh, they also really are part of the chord. <clears throat> so if you want to do some comping or uh, chord playing on the first part of the song, there are so many common notes. As you can see, B flat is almost in every chord. Uh, G is on, or sorry, F is on almost every chord. So you have a lot of common tones. At the beginning, I might just play, uh, I might comp along with uh, G and B flat on the first chord. And then it goes to the uh, C7 chord. I could stay there, or I could add this. And then the third chord is E, G, uh, e flat, G, B flat. I'll pick these two. And then D, F, A. Either of those two work. I got the D and the F, or the D, F, A. So pick whichever ones you like. And you can even play a little background melody, like... And then you can switch uh, the chords to... What I'm doing there is just I'm arpeggiating. I'm playing a little bit of every chord in a, uh, a specifically uh, part of the chord, but only in separate, not together, but uh, apart, which is called arpeggiation. And then, and then, and then. So if you want to do that, it sounds like you're kind of playing along, but you're not really playing the melody. So it sort of make, gives you something to do while you're waiting for the melody to show up. And we'll, I'll do that at the beginning. Uh, and then I'll start into the melody.
did a lot of fills. I just played little chords, like little combinations of notes that are in that chord. And sometimes I played them together with double stops, like the G and B flat, which is also common to the E flat, G, B flat chords, you can see. And or you can go, or you can go on the C, E, G chord. I can play two at once, or I might go, play a little lick like that. And that keeps your hands busy, and it fills space, and that's kind of what you're looking to do. Uh, I kind of did some improv on the back side of the, of the melody here, and uh, the, I forgot to tell you that the G pentatonic, the G minor pentatonic works great here too, <clears throat> because there are so many common notes in the G pentatonic scale with all these chords that you can hardly miss. The only one you got to be really careful of is the second chord. You have to play an E, not an E flat, on the C, E, G chord. It can't be C, E flat, G. That doesn't work. So that's the only one you got to be careful of, but the G pentatonic, uh, G, A, B flat, C, and then D, F, G. That works great. Or even the G minor scale, you could do G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. There's so many combinations there. I like to throw in the blue note, which is the C sharp. The, um, I like that. I like the way this, this works. Uh, that little embellishment that we always talk about. The C sharp to D. And uh, again, you can start anywhere. You can start on the D. As long as you're doing the same sequence of notes, you can start anywhere. There's the D. Then I go to the F, G, C, uh, B flat, C, C sharp. Heck, you could even start downstairs on the C if you wanted to. There's the low C with the C sharp in the blues scale. And any of those notes sound great. The only, again, the only one you got to be careful of is the C, uh, C, the C seven chord, which is C E. G B flat, not C E flat, C E. So I know again this is all this is all annotated. Take your time and uh, work on some of the things we talk about, the double stops and the embellishments. And uh, you know you can have a lot of fun with this. The melody is I mean, this this clips along pretty good. So as you notice, I kind of missed the intro there because I was doing some uh, stuff at the beginning. But um, it's a very popular song, and uh, again it's Bob Marley. You can't go wrong with that. Have a lot of fun with this. Well, that's it for this time. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I want to also thank people that watch the channel. Also, go to panland.ning.com to uh, see our social network for single drum players. It is a place where you can see videos, and there's, sometimes there's downloadable music on there, and pictures from people all over the world. Also, if you have some musical needs, like books and things like that, please go to tropicalshores.net. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.